Good morning, everybody. Oh, the opener was Saturday. Today's the Wednesday after the opener. Cricks are still, actually the big cricks are still blown out. So they're not even fishable like ugh, all the big streams. Um, so I've been fishing Monday, Tuesday, and today's Wednesday. Just fishing local streams and oh, I'm having fun. Just catching a ton of fish. You know, it's not the most challenging, but it's fun. And um, like I said, I'm just having a good old time. Haven't seen really any hatches, although this stream is excellent, excellent quality water. The other day I turned over only two rocks. I saw a couple leeches, I saw a golden stone, I saw a Hendrickson, I saw even a nice Anikia, I saw a blue winged olive nymphs, saw a couple caddises, um, everything, it was, <laughs> everything was there. And uh, uh, I'm getting down into a section that's uh, not stocked, but the fish float and spread out. So I don't know how I'll do down here. I usually don't fish this section down here. But I'm just looking and uh, um, so we'll see how everything goes today uh, I'm not gonna this is just gonna be a fun video okay fun video fishing your local streams just having fun like I said I haven't seen really any um, great hatch activity although in the first Monday and Tuesday there was tons of crane flies around Crane flies were, uh, crane flies were, um, skittering across the top of the water. I would have swore we were going to have some top water activity, but fish, they were not onto them. So can't make, ha can't make something happen that isn't happening on its own. So we'll see how it all goes today. Okay. Um, so Let's see, get into some fishies here, hopefully. Have a good video for you. And, um, okay, so let me get down to them nice. I might, I might walk all the way back upstream. I don't know, but I, I haven't, I, I could probably use never. I never fish down here. Uh, down a little bit further, maybe about 300 more yards, I have fished, but normally, this is really, really super shallow, even though there could be tons. There's this, this stream has, besides being stocked, has wild brownies. So there's, there's wild brownies all through here. And you know what? When guys don't hit these sections, even if it's shallow water, that doesn't mean anything to these wild brownies. They'll live anywhere, just like any wild fish. But it also acts like a refuge for them. So if it's that, it, it, that's why some streams have you know most most streams guys only hit the honey holes or they just hit easy access areas the whole rest of the stream if it's not being hit is like i said oh, that's a sucker is like a refuge for um uh the fish so i would i would bet that most of the stream even on popular streams popular streams i bet you only less than 50 percent of it ever really even gets fished because guys don't don't want to walk or explore or whatever uh, this stream you see this nice lush uh, vegetation along the shore one indication this this stream particular stream has limestone influence fishes well throughout the uh throughout the whole year got it not right here too Usually when you see areas like that, you know there's a spring in the area. And, uh, oh my gosh, it's starting to rain. So, we're going to start right here. And see how we do. I had you guys on for a few minutes during that intro. I'm using the orange glow bug. I'm going to move my split shot up. I don't think I even need... That split shot, but I'm gonna move it way up, about 10, 10, 11 inches. Got the glow bug, got a blue pertagon here. 
Okay, blue cardigan. And then I got a pink beaded waltz, size 16, like a check nymph. And I finally, the last three days, brought out my brand new Thomas and Thomas Avant. This is not the Avant 2. The Avant 2 just came out a couple months ago. This is a regular Avant. It's a 10 foot four weight, fast action rod. Um, I bought it more for its, I mean, it's a 10 foot rod, so you can nymph great with it, but it's also a um, fast action, which I love having a, a combination rod for most of the year um that we can um nymph and dry fly fish with so uh yep and this is a four weight like i said so let's just see how we do here this is not deep at all i thought it because it looked a lot i thought i mean this is only about a foot deep maybe a foot and a half at the most i thought we would have gotten to some deeper water at this section that's why i stopped here I said maybe I did in the past two days catch a couple small little wild browns and I did catch one nice size like a 12 inch wild brown but I mean I caught just an absolute pile of stockies the past two days and um uh, but I didn't want to do a video I don't know why I should have <laughs> but I didn't <laughs> Okay, I didn't forget to tell you guys, I'm using a Gunnison G2 uh, Ross reel, okay? It's an old reel, but it's brand new, or just like brand new. My buddy gave it to me, and it's doing great. It's, it's, it sounds like an old, old click and pull reel, but it's not. It's got a sealed drag. I mean, yeah, seal drag. It's not click and pull, but it sounds like a click and pull reel. There he goes. Okay. Well, that was on the swing, almost on the hang. So, I would bet he's on the last fly. I would bet. And I think it's a little, <laughs> my first fish is a little wild brownie. Yes, it is. Well, heck, if we had to wait for that little guy. Oh my gosh. Six, seven inches. <laughs> oh, there I go. No flies in the water here. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Nice. Okay, see what our second fishy of the morning is. Let's see, let's see. He's also, I think, on... The pink beaded waltz is a size 16, like a check nymph style on a jig hook. There it is. Oh, brownie. Nice brownie. I have a stocky though, but that's okay. We'll take either one. Might be a holdover. Nah. This looks like a stocky. Just a stocky.
Okay. Keep you guys on. Keep you running, keep you running, keep you running. Boom. with there he goes there he goes he's on man the pink beaded waltz is doing it that's what that one was on he got off but that's okay it's that third one oh thought that was gonna be it boom way over there Come on. Oh, that well, must be a log or a rock or something over there. There he goes. Well, he hit that right away. And again on the waltz, I think. Yes, he is. Boy, that waltz is working, man. Gotta love that pink beaded waltz. Okay, because that's the third one out of this hole. Oh, there he goes. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Show you that pink beaded waltz. Okay, I'm gonna stay right there. That's just hair's ear, gold, I mean, um, yeah, gold ribbing, a dark collar, like a blackish dark brown collar, and a pink bead. And that's on a jig hook, so right, yeah. I know Tim Flagler did a video, a tight line video, where it doesn't matter, all the, all the flies, even, even ones on a jig hook, do not ride really upside down. They more ride like um, uh, at a 45 degree angle, but they don't ride horizontal upside down the way you think. So I don't know if jig hooks are all that. Okay. Good. You know, when I get fish like that, they get off close to the rod, or, you know, close to me. I don't care. I count them. I'm just. There he is. There's another one. So when they, when I bring them in, and they're stockies, fresh stockies, I just bring them in kind of fast and I horse a little bit. This one I think's on the blue Perdigon. I think. I'm not too sure. I'm not. No, he's not. He's on. Everything has been on the. <laughs> Pink beaded waltz, everything. And I don't, I think all, this is the fifth fish. I think all five, I didn't see the third one, but this is another brownie. So they must have just stuck brownies up here. Okay. You know, Gotta go to some of these local streams. They're beautiful streams. They got great bug life. No, they're not out in central PA and but they're still super fun. Super fun. And honestly, I can't drive three hours all the time. <laughs> so oh 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 man, he whacked it. I don't know why. I think I'm gonna switch my uh I'm gonna switch my rig up here in a little bit. And, uh, yep, I'm going to switch it up, these top two flies, and I got to, I got to change out one of my tippets, one of my, my last tippet that that waltz is on is all kinky, so if you guys ever get, you know, you take the time and replace your tippets if you need to, okay, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, <clears throat> my tandem rig, I had to rebuild the whole thing, 
um, both of my tippets were messed up and um, and my glow bug had no hook on it I had a couple hits in here I was like damn man they were hits here and <laughs> probably on the glow bug I had no hook it was broken off so let's see and then I took off the blue pertagon which I was crushing them on the past two days but nothing on it today and I put on a Hendrickson nymph. Now there are pretty good Hendricksons on the stream, but um, I'm pretty sure the hatch is over on the stream. But the fish know, they're familiar with what they look like. And I saw a Hendrickson nymph um, turning over a rock yesterday. And um, so, uh, Let's see how this combination works. There he goes. Okay, well, let's see if these, everything, what, five or six fish that I caught here? Everything has been on the pink beaded wall, so let's see this time. Ah, the glow bug! See, I tell you what, having a hook on your fly <clears throat> increases your odds about a hundred percent that you'll catch a fish <laughs> so remember that that's that's vitally important that's the best information i can give you out of everything in fly fishing make sure your fly has a point on it and a hook <laughs> this is a wild wild guy nice Shoo. little 10 incher So we're not gonna, this isn't gonna be a long video because we're just having fun today. I wish I could show you. I tell you the past two days, I caught a ton of fish on the swing and I know that first little wild brownie we caught on the swing, but um, we'll have to just wait. I, I, I've done swing videos in the past, but I always like doing them because I love to show guys how effective the swing is. And uh, there he goes. I love to show guys that was just starting the swing that was just at the beginning of it and this is on um so all three flies are working this is on the hendrickson i'll show you that fly after i get this guy in get him off every single fish here was a brownie every single one he actually just got off the hand but he was on the hendrickson he got off and um uh, okay Woo. but we'll show you that he was on so there's the hendrickson nymph okay has a one little light spot in the abdomen and I don't know if I could, see, you could see that. It's, and it's got a partridge for legs. It's got a copper bead, copper ribbing, about a size 14. Okay. So all three flies are working now. Come on, get my line out. Boom. This is such a pretty hole, right at a farm. Pastures are right here, just a beautiful, beautiful setting. The next, next cast, if I don't get anything on this one, will be almost right up against that tree. There he goes. On the swing, on the swing. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Do up, do up, do up, do up, do up, do up. There you go. I think he is on the the Hendrickson. The Hendrickson. Oh, come here, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. 
Yes, he is on the Hendrickson. Boom. That's two fish in a row on the Hendrickson. Yeah, Hendrickson. Right near his... There you go. Boop. There he goes. Okay, we'll be right back. Oh, guys, I did not have you on. I did not know. I just caught this one with another one with the Hendrickson. I might not have had the last one on. I don't know. I can't remember. But the last four have been on since I changed my rig have all been on the Hendrickson. So that is amazing. I caught him up at the head of the run here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, come on. Don't, 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 don't. Relax, 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 relax. You got slippery and slipped out of my hand. Okay, nice. Okay, be right back. See that Hendrickson again. Okay, right there. Let me see. You guys on? <laughs> yeah. That's how quick I forget. Um. So I have a, even though Hendrickson's are darker underneath, I have a, I'm using a lighter, lighter uh, underside and got a nice dark wing case, got the light spot in the abdomen, using wood duck for the tail, partridge for the legs, copper bead, copper rib, and that's a size 14. Might be like a 14 1X long. Um, I always... Whenever I put a bead in, I put a, le a little longer hook on because it take up, tape up, take up the space of of the bead. So let's see, let's see, let's see. So you might not have. I, I'm going to repeat myself. I'm going to have to edit this out, but I'm going to move down a little. This second half of my drift is the swing and the hang. Now when I move down and cast up here. This will now be in the first part of my drift and it'll be deeper. So even though you hit water, depending on which part of your drift you hit it, um, uh, you, you know, you, you're just hitting it with a different presentation and I'll be getting, I'm only hitting the fish in the water column, in the middle of the water column on my swing. I'm not down near the bottom. But when I move down and cast up here, it'll be, in the first and middle part of my drift and uh, I'll cover it much deeper once I move down, which I'm gonna do after this drift. Ooh, now nah, maybe one more cast. Might be, let's do a close one. We'll do a close one. Okay, so now I'm gonna keep you guys on. I'm gonna move downstream I don't know, seven, eight yards. And um, when I cast up here, it's going to be a deeper drift, which was, which was, which was my swing previously. So that spot, we didn't even move. I mean, it just, you know, these are stockies. So, you know, we caught a good 10 fish out of there. Had several get off or several misses, I should say, misses. Uh, so now, like I said, we're getting a deeper drift here. And let's see how this section presents. Hmm. Surprised. There's a deep hole. I'm already up to my mid-thighs. There he goes. There he goes. So now that ideally like, like uh, was it what was it, what i was explaining i was hitting that with the swing and now i hit it with the first part of my drift the middle part of my drift and uh which was much deeper than how i was presenting it up there so sometimes just moving a little bit downstream or or upstream presents presents your flies differently and uh, don't think just don't stay in one spot you gotta move around a little and this guy is on the pink beaded waltz there you go 
pink beaded waltz. Right there. So maybe that's how I'll do this. We'll, we'll um, gear this video. He's just fishing one hole. But as you move along the hole, your presentation changes and see how you can effectively cover just one hole. This one hole section is probably about 30, 35 yards. So we'll see how this video, this first part of this video comes out. <laughs> I would love the fish. I would love the fish to start uh, rising. <laughs> then we'll add another element, another discipline. But I don't, I don't, I mean, I hope it happens, but I don't think it's going to happen. So we're going down the swing here. Oh boy, that's way over there. That's a back eddy over there. So see if we get any fishies in that back eddy. I mean, I can't really cover it that effectively from over here. But, like I say before, you don't have to have the perfect drift. Just the drift that's good enough, he hit, and I missed him right on the end there. Let's try for him again. We need a, we just want a hit that's good enough for him to taste our flies. Right there, huh? Okay, boom. I hate the way you say nothing at all. What you say, what you hear you say. Air, ooh, mm -hmm. I don't know what that was. But what's killing me tonight? When he's loving on you, baby. You don't close your eyes. Good whiskey. There he goes, there he goes. Man, you saw that hit. He slammed it. Girl, it just don't miss. Okay, pink beaded waltz. I think the last two were on the pink beaded waltz. Another brandy, another brandy, another stocky brandy. Nice. Gosh. Boom. <laughs> Come on. My rod is ahead of my line. My line is ahead of my tandem rig. I'm leading it down about the same speed as the water. Jeez, that was a gorgeous, there he goes. I was gonna say, that was a gorgeous drift. Uh, that was a gorgeous drift. Man, is that a beautiful scenery? Just absolutely gorgeous scenery. Oh, there he goes, that's okay. He was on the pink beaded waltz. Isn't that amazing though? Pink beaded waltz for a bunch of fish we started out with, and then the Hendrickson, and now they're back on the pink beaded waltz again. Well guys, that was it for that run. I guess this run's about 35 yards long. 
And we picked up a good dozen fish or more, you know, out of here. And um, had several hits, several misses. That was a fishy that just rose. Wow. I don't know what he rose for. I don't see any bugs coming down. Hey, I'm going to be fishing upstream and downstream, but I just wanted to show this. If I continue this video, um, which I don't know. I don't know why. I, I, I'm glad I just got this nice little short video for just one hole that we fished. And um, showing you different presentations from different angles. And, um, but if we get bugs, er, he rose up there. Oh, 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 oh. Earlier, I don't know if it's in this early. I said, boy, if the fish start rising here, I'm, we're going to get a nice, uh, we can get another discipline here just on one hole. Wow, two fish just rose. What are they rising for? Guys, let me do some, uh, let me do some, uh, <laughs> I don't know what they're rising for. And let's see if we can get some dry fly action here on this hole. Woohoo! Two fishies rising. Let me do some some investigating here and see if I, I can identify. I mean, it may just be for the crane flies that have been around, but I I don't see anything. I don't see crane flies. I don't see anything. So I don't know what they're taking. And maybe I might just get lucky and just throw something out there and they might be interested. But I don't think I'm going to get that lucky. Okay, I'll be right back.